If World of Tanks updates had names, the name Delicacy would suit Update 9.8. It doesn't contain a lot of new features, but the ones it does bring are excellent. A new game event, a new way of inviting players to a platoon, personal reserves, and the separation of the game client into two versions. You'll learn more from this review. A new game event, Domination, was introduced. In this mode, one of the things you need to do is shoot at vehicles, but that's the only thing it has in common with the standard battle formats. The opportunities and ways of achieving victory are unlike anything we've had before. The battles are fought in Tier 10 tanks. These tanks are special versions of the T-110E5, AMX-50B, and Object-140. Their characteristics are similar to those of their researchable equivalents, but they can be used only in Domination mode. These tanks will be given to all players, so if you were wondering whether or not to research these vehicles, you will be able to try them out before you make a decision. The battle is fought between two teams in a 15 vs 15 or 10 vs 10 format, depending on the map. The team that scores the most points wins. Points are given for delivering the flag to a special zone and for destroying enemy tanks. If a team reaches the required score before the end of the battle, the battle ends. This mode has a unique playstyle because you won't be afraid to get your vehicle destroyed. After a few seconds, you'll be able to respawn in the same battle and take revenge. We've implemented the ability to respawn multiple times during the battle in domination mode. These are the so-called garage battles. A menu shows up after your tank's been destroyed. You'll have 10 seconds to choose a new tank. The specific vehicle that was just destroyed will be unavailable for 30 seconds. The tank appears on the battlefield with full HP, ammunition, and consumables. The setup of consumables is the player's choice. You can select what you need in your garage before the battle as usual. The number of respawns is unlimited. There are several vehicle repair points and resupply points. They add to the intrigue of the battle. A heavily damaged tank can suddenly rise from the ashes like a phoenix. All you need to do is to roll inside a yellow circle, indicated on the minimap by a special icon, and wait for 5 seconds. Just remember to avoid damage and not roll out of the circle during this time. A minute has to pass before a player is able to use the same point again. Several tanks can be repaired in one repair point at the same time, even if there are both enemy and allied vehicles. The number of vehicles is limited only by the capacity of the circle. The Domination Event comes out soon. Check for updates. Coming next, separation of the client into HD and SD versions. Who needs which quality? Personal reserves. Now everyone can get what clans have. Dynamic platoons. Together we will win. Besides some significant changes, Update 9.8 brings a lot of smaller ones. Battle performance badges, which mark the effective actions of a player during the battle, were added to the game. Many personal missions were corrected and updated. The range for all small-caliber automatic guns and machine guns was increased to 400 meters. Many vehicles were rebalanced. For example, the dispersion of the IS-7's gun on the move and its aim time were reduced. The dispersion and aim time of the Conqueror Gun Carriage SPG were increased. You will find more details in the update patch notes. Battles for strongholds of levels 5 to 7 in Tier 8 vehicles are now available. The Kamaran map was removed from random battles. Many vehicles were reworked to HD quality. An opportunity to choose between HD and SD game clients was added to the client installer and the launcher. The HD version contains textures of a higher quality, but it is a much larger file. So if your PC specs don't allow you to play with the highest settings, it will be better to choose the more compact SD version. Now we come to dynamic platoons. What are they, and how will they change the game? Also, we'll tell you about personal reserves. All players will now be able to receive more experience. So, dynamic platoons. In general, this is the same squad of two or three players, but it is formed differently. Imagine that you're fighting a battle, only two allies are left. Superior enemy forces are coming. In most situations, this means a defeat. But now you'll be able to unite your efforts together in a platoon. Start communicating with voice chat. 
coordinate your actions and crush the more numerous but disorganized enemy forces. Of course, it's not necessary to wait for such critical situations. You can platoon up with other players right away. This is especially effective if you fight on one particular flank or play one vehicle type, for example, SPG or light tanks. The opportunity becomes available when the countdown starts. You just need to click on the player's nickname and invite him or her to the platoon. Players can either accept or decline invitations. The platoon is not dismissed after the battle, so if you feel you have found true brothers in arms, you can continue playing together. Let's proceed to personal reserves. Basically, they are consumables. If you activate them, you will receive more experience or free experience per battle. In fact, personal reserves are very similar to the reserves that clans prepare in their strongholds, except that these reserves are personal. To receive personal reserves, you need to complete special missions in random battles. It's important to remember that each reserve has an expiration date, which is noted in the description. You can activate personal reserves from the menu in the garage. That's all for now. Good luck on the battlefield!